Welcome to Davis Gone Nautical. Hey folks, well, it rained a lot, so uh, I've got to go bail out the dinghy. I'm going to take you out here and show you just how much I've got to bail out. Well, as you saw, the dinghy had some water in it. Um, I'm not actually right in the ocean. I'm in a saltwater inlet. The ocean comes into what is basically and feeds what is basically a gigantic saltwater lake. Um, there's an inlet from the ocean on the north end and on the south end of the inlet, which is gigantic. Um, so there, uh, there are bunches of power boaters zooming by and jet skis because they treat it like a big lake which it is it's a big saltwater lake basically with a with a a uh, waterway out to the ocean so they're all zooming by and the boat's rocking and then the dinghy well trying to bail that dinghy out is being like being on a roller coaster uh with no seat belt of any kind and the roller coaster is full of water you're just bouncing all over the place, holding on for dear life, trying to get the water out before your roller coaster sinks. So, but I got most of the water out as much as I could. There's like a quarter inch in the bottom. Uh, when the water calms down at night, it's it's like glass out here. I mean, it's just smooth as can be. When it gets to that point tonight, I'm gonna take the dinghy ashore and drain the drain the rest of the water out of it. And I gotta take. My Gotta take my trash to the dumpster over there. There's a couple dumpsters for the marina. And um, I hear some thunder, so. And there's some clouds. So uh, I might be doing this again this evening before I end up going to shore, or if it ends up raining all night again, I'll have to do it tomorrow. The fun of living in the subtropics during the wet season. Um, I don't mind it though. I mean, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but you know, it beats the desert. Um, if you love the desert, I'm sorry, but I was there for 12 years and I'm pretty, no pun intended, I'm burned out on the desert. And it definitely beats, uh, definitely beats snow. I'll take this over snow any day. So I'll check back in with you later, folks. Well, that was a heck of a storm. I'll be bailing the dinghy out all over again. Um, it rained so hard that the boats, the roof of the boat is now leaking in places that it never leaked before. Um, so apparently, at least on this boat, you don't uh, fix a leak or you don't stop a leak because it doesn't stop, it just moves somewhere else. And that's pretty much what happened. I'm dripping everywhere and most of them are places that it's never leaked before. Windows dripping that have never dripped before. Um, it was a crazy storm and the thunder's still rumbling. I don't know if it's done or not. It's still raining. It's not nearly as hard as it was. It's just a little drizzle now. But, uh, yeah, that was fun. So I'll be uh, drying things out for the next couple days. And, uh, we'll see if I actually get any work done or not. Not really looking like it this week. So uh, hopefully the rest of the week will be better. Well, it rained pretty much all day, but at least it's a nice, beautiful sunset. And there you can kind of see what I was talking about, this being a really huge saltwater lake.
seeing sunset, sunsets like this kind of make the whole thing worth it. Well, there it is cleaned up. Not too good yet. Probably can't see because of the shadow, but try to get it on this side. Eh, it's probably not much better, is it? But before I sanded, that one looked like this. As you saw, those uh, power boats are ripping a lot of, right along in the distance. Um, there's another one right behind it, a little closer to me. Here soon, that wake is going to get here, and it's going to get pretty rolly. So uh, that can be fun, especially if you're trying to do something on the counter that involves pouring water, or uh, if they're real close and they go by like that, um, pretty much everything on the counter gets knocked off. The fun of living on a boat. That's how it turned out. That's four coats of teak, one coat of sealer. Um, there will be more coats of sealer here soon. Um, I don't have enough teak oil to do the one on the other side, so it's going to have to just look rough for a while so I can afford to get some more teak oil. Uh, there is a small wooden uh, piece on the back railing of the boat that I should have enough teak oil for. It's what you're supposed to mount your outboard for your dinghy to. So um, I'll get a little further. Um, Right now I'm pretty much out of money, um, but I have found a job. I've been applying for quite some while, and I was actually getting really stressed for money earlier this week. Um, but thanks to my soon-to-be ex-wife, I'll be able to pay my mooring fee for the month. Um, she and I are actually on good terms, so that helps to not have an ex that you're fighting with. Um, and then... Uh, I've been, like I said, filling out applications for quite a while and finally got a call on Tuesday, had an interview on Wednesday, and got a job offer on Thursday. So August 8th, I'll be starting a job. Once I start working, the updates will probably be more sporadic um, because there'll be a lot more going on in my life. And uh, started out the week really stressed because of the money situation, but as the week's going on, you know, the rain quit, got the job. Uh, my mood has really improved. I was just ready to cash it all in this week. I really was. It was it was horrible. A lot of ups and downs on this journey so far. But it's a beautiful day here. Um, I'm actually wearing a shirt because it's cool enough. Um, normally I have that box fan running. It's a 12-volt box fan I've had for, I don't know, a few years. Picked it up at Goodwill. And then I have a little fan there and a little fan over there and um, those are the only two fans I have running today and I'm able to wear a shirt inside so and it's absolutely beautiful sunny day outside there's a lot of clouds around there have been some storms in the distance I've heard some thunder rattle really close but nothing here thank goodness so the week has definitely improved I'll probably start sanding that other piece tonight, so um, it'll make this week's update the start of it, but um, probably not the finish. It depends on how much I get done. So I'll check in with you later. Well, this is the piece I'm going to try and uh, save. It's what you attach the outboard to when it's hang when you have your dinghy up on the boat or out of the water and don't want to leave the outboard on it actually in pretty rough shape. I'm gonna flip it over on the back side. I don't know if you can see or not. Let me try it this way. You'll see it's got a big it's split is what it is. And the whole thing is actually in in pretty rough shape. 
Uh, I'm gonna see if I can glue it and get by with it for a while. I mean, I'm not actually using it for an outboard, but I do want it to look better, so I'm gonna see what I can do with it. I may have to take that back piece off. It's actually a two-piece. There's two pieces there. I might have to take that back piece off and cut a new one out of something and just replace it. But that's what I'm going to be working on. Um, next week's update, you'll see if I was able to save it and how it turned out. And if I wasn't able to save it, it'll just come off of there for a while. So, uh, I guess that's all I'm going to have for this week. Thanks for the watch. Thanks for watching, and if you're having a rough time, like I was earlier this week, you know my thoughts are with you. So keep your chin up, and peace be the journey.